Hello guys, it's Susanna here. Well, I'm back with my next part of the Just Because quilt. And I've been busy, you know, faffing around with how things are going. So this is, I've sewed this bit down. And I want to have that little teapot up there. So here's, I've sewed, you know, like this is the next bit. I'm not going to have that. I'll just have to see where I go. Put bits and pieces everywhere. I do sort of like it though. That's the thing. But it's pretty full on. But if I bring it underneath, just have a little bit. Have that there. And have this bit going underneath it's pretty because I quite like like that and I was thinking maybe I could probably have that there because I wanted to use that part to put the burford I think I may do that because I'd like to be able to use this part to stitch and I want to have this about the same level as the top of that and I'm probably going to cut that other side off okay we are going to make it work so it's going to have it got a little bit of blue there okay um, got all bits and pieces down here which I'm going to be adding Do like that and I want to use these see there you're gonna I'm gonna use that to stitch down onto the piece that's the bit I embroidered a while back it is full-on maybe I'll hide the red a little bit more yeah I think that's that's what's doing me head in. Yep. Okay. So, and I've got this. Cool. I do like that having that as a background, and I definitely want to put the Burford in there. So, I'm going to put that in there, and we're going to surround that with bits and pieces of fabric I quite like this that's gonna go on there move this over so you can actually see it there we go there 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 and that'll go there And I quite like, I quite like that because that's sort of like little bits and pieces that we saw, you know, like the, the countryside and these sort of stuff. But I may have to chop it off here. Tear it because I'm hoping it'll give me that frayed look, which it will. This is real quintessential. Um, I might have to put something underneath there. English. Love these. And then I've got this piece too. Remember I chose that. And I'm going to put that along there. I have to keep going in and out of the camera. I'm going to put that along there, which will be part of the next panel. <laughs> so dragging it along.
or do I do that? I reckon I can put a, probably put a tiny little bit of lace in there. And I do need some lights. I've got my little... My lace stash in my little basket. Still standing up. That way I can see what's in where. Ooh, how pretty is that? And that works. Okay. Um, that's that's pretty. Probably a bit too light. That's nice too. Try and get the vintagey stuff. Don't know what that's doing in there. That's really pretty too. So, I'll push that aside. Now I've still got, um, hang a minute, I've still got um, this that I'm going to be putting in and that'll be going on the next panel um, because that is part of the Burford shops. So, and I think I'm only going to do the one and that'll go on the next panel because I didn't want it too close to the um, the other sea, you know, like the seaside scene. These bits and pieces may get used too. Okay, I'm the reason why I'm doing this is because I was just watching Corinne's um, just because quilt, and I'm like, I've got to get in there and um, do some filming. Okay, just turning off my phone, putting that volume down, hang on a second, sorry guys, there we go, um, and coming back and doing something, I better put that on the vibrate, there we go, so if anybody calls, now, we're still in camera at this point, so, Move me over, drag over bits and pieces. That's pretty. That might even be able to um, go along here somewhere, I reckon. Just something pretty on there like that. It's really soft, but it gives a bit of a look but maybe I'll do it on there because you can actually see the rows I'm going to just cut that okay put that back in the in the stash but I definitely need something in between these guys and I'm thinking maybe this I was going to do the just the two, but three will work. There isn't a great deal of room between that, but it definitely needs an edge of some sort. It is a little annoying that there's straight edges there, but that's how it goes. Oh, what a jolly nail. Maybe something not as big. Something like that. work that way you can just have it straight across the next to that flagpole or whatever that is and then have these coming down over there like that to soften those edges 
and I'll just have to uh, stitch down on that quite like don't mind that I'll put that just grab some of that okay that can go over there Is going to go on there, soften that green a little bit, and I'm going to pull that down and have that going over on the other part. So that means I'm going to need something here. Wonder if I just use that last little piece. That works. Even that works with some of this colour there. I do like how it's frayed and it makes it so it doesn't um, look so straight, if you know what I mean. It's about texture, not about... Um, you know, texture and colour, not about the design. Now, we can get some of this near here. Sort of going up like that. Give me a look. Actually, where's my little Dorcas pins? There they are. have that higher than lower so it's covering we don't want to cover that too much okay this is to hold those layers down Okay, this is the way you can use your offcuts because the colours go brilliantly. See that brings out that yellow because I mean it was a pretty yellow um, print and then I could probably have that going underneath. Um, it's pretty straight so in order so that we're not wasting you never know where you might use that tiny little piece for and then I'm gonna go like that just to there we go Burford maybe I went up a little high This has to go pretty precise. I tell you, I think this bit here needs a a bulkier pin in the middle of it. Oh. Now 
want that to go there because that matches. It's going to go through a few layers, that baby. And then this is just holding it down until we get some bits and pieces. And now that will go over like that. And that's going to be on the, the next piece. to go like this and go with the pattern of the fabric just because it's gonna work better there we go Right. Oh, I can smell the coffee. Got the coffee just sitting here. I think that's that way. Hopefully my noggin's not in the way. I really apologise about the last couple of videos. And this will go across there. And I'm going to write in, um, you know, Julie, me and Julie having, um, you know, coffee, not coffee, uh, tea and scones in Burford. Pretty. Yes, it's starting to look good. Hopefully that's caught that in camera, sort of. Yeah, yeah, that's looking good. Okay, now, okay, put these bits and pieces. Um, put that back. Might keep that out. That out. Oh, I do like that. I'm sort of, I'm going for the, the, you know, more of the creamier. These, this is really pretty too, like real dainty. But that's for. Um, you know, the last, the latter bits, I'm jumping the gun and doing the embellishing. Okay. There you go. Up there. Okay. So we're keeping bits out. Where did they come from? Put that back in there. Okay. So we'll pin this down. Now, and I'm going to pin this guy down too, so I need something for on the top. And that's going to go along there. These will go here. Um, I could probably leave that. If you wanted, you could always... You know, add a little bit of just a lace trim of some sort underneath just to make it look pretty. Maybe I should use that for here. No. Because it, yeah. By the time you put that on there and do the writing, I think it'll work. Yeah. And the reason why I'm leaving it blank over the top, because that's where the edge is. So, yeah, there you go. Change my mind. Just get a bit of something over here. Okay. use a bit that I've cut and always 
add another little piece there, but because it's there, it's going to look weird. Maybe there. Might fit precisely there, actually. Uh, we'll see. We'll just plonk it there for now. And we'll see how we go. By the time you add these bits, it is probably going to work. Now, I need another piece. I do love this lace. You know what? I might even, I was thinking of putting some of this over here. Yeah. Gotta see, backtrack. Okay, so we'll pin this down because I think that's where she's going. And then we're going to be stitching down bits and pieces that will go there. I wanted to put it so that the, the piece I'll show you. This is where we're up to. We're in. Yeah, so that's going to go here and I wanted to put it in so that you are able to see that. Now I think I'm going to go there. It helps to cover that. Okay, that's heading on to the next piece. So we're just going to pin that. I like that. Okay always thinking of the next and next okay so we'll just put a couple of pins in here and I've got to think of something that's going to go into that piece there so let's put a couple of pins okay and that's such a long piece but I might keep that on there and that way we can put something on there and we can keep some of that reddish colour because it does work. Okay. I'm going to pin that down and I might pin these babies down too because I kind of like them. And be careful not to pin myself. Sort of gonna no, don't wanna hide the don't wanna hide the uh, flag pole. So I'm go up. See we're getting the uh, the decorations in before I have any have even pin everything down but it gives me a bit of an idea maybe take a photo now okay now we need something for here and I was thinking I've got this and I kind of like it so So we've got I've got a bit of this as well which I know is going to work so I'm gonna looks like I've used my crimping shears which I may continue to do because it gives a better edge where is it going to go underneath so I will cut it yeah hopefully this is in camera okay and then I'm going to put some of this on top of that because that works okay Cut 
that so it's at least a little bit of an angle fit. And we'll decide whether we go on top or underneath. Okay, now move that over so you know where I'm at. Now, definitely needs to go over here. I'm going to go under here and over there. I might go over the top. And, and I think I may go over. Or do I go under? And then I'm going to get a piece of this. Oh, I like that. Really do like that. Because it goes in with everything else. So I might rip that and then just cut a, a square or something and what I like about this is it's the gingham and um, it's so easy to do stitching on. I could just use those lines, which is great. And it goes really well with the, the piece next door, which is gonna be added to the bottom. <laughs> and I kinda like that it's wonky. So, still gotta add that. Okay, Ooh. I think I might go down, be less dangerous maybe. <laughs> so I've got a fair bit of stitching homework to do. So I'm going through a few layers, so that's hence why I'm lifting. And along here as well, move this out of the way. Oh, love these tattery edges. I think they look awesome. Okay. So, I'm going to get my little Dorcas pin in here. Not as big. Now, oh, you see, you don't, yeah, I was thinking it wasn't going to work, but it does. It does, it does. I love that. Now, um, which bit, which bit, which bit? Yeah, yeah, I want some of that yellow. Okay. So free. And then, which any other time you're like, no, don't want free. But in this case, I don't mind. It. You know, it's taking very old fabric. I think I might have gotten this from Purveyor. I don't know. But um, it just looks very vintage. I think I am going to cut off some of this because even though it's just too long I just want the colour okay some of these bits we are going to just get rid of other bits we can keep because you just don't know because look at these small little bits that even works there you go um yeah and then I've got another bit for another rainy day the 
colours actually work. It almost looks like a little pathway. There you go. It's already working. Jesus. It's um a little on the fray side. Yeah, I don't mind that there. I might have to have it under though. Have it up a little higher. Because it sort of does remind me of a little pathway. Okay. Scissors back up. layers in that lot. Okay. Now hopefully we're still in and I'll use this. I wonder if I could use this to sort of go underneath just a tad just so it's not so you know dimensional but it's too much of the same definitely needs I'm going to use that somewhere else may end up using it over there but I need something now I might get some of this which was my um, the, cap, the camphor quilt and I think that might work, but then I think that's going to work on the next bit. Okay. Because it's got a lot of floral, so we don't want too much floral. I think we just need a piece. And what I might do is use this guy. Are we going to go the dark or the light? You know what? I think the dark's going to go better to be, to be honest. And we haven't got a lot of it. Just going to grab a square. Mm -hmm. Got this from... Um, What's her name? Deborah from Doll's House Vintage. I'd like to keep that's going to go there. I'd like to keep this. I quite like that. And it's got a couple of holes there. But then it's a bit too long. So I might cut that off and we'll use this bit somewhere else. Hopefully I'm in camera. Oh no. Sorry guys. Here we go. So I'll have it going like that. What do you think? Okay. It's really hard to get everything you want in camera. I'll be glad when I get my iPhone and I can zoom it up. So here we go. That I think that works. I think that works. So, probably need a thicker one for there. And when we were in Siren System, not Siren System, when we were in Burford, we went to this church and because it, it was in spring it had all these beautiful roses in the gardens so that works there we go 
there we go. Now the only thing, because this is the whole patch and it's going down into the next one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on three, like three patches and then do three and three and then put them together after because um, this is joined and I, you know, it, it gets bulky. So I'm going to try and work on this next part here on its own. But in the meantime, sometimes just a splash of colour. Definitely going to put a colour of something along there. And then I'm going to stitch along here as well. I really do like, love that. Not sure. I might leave this out at the top. Um, let's see how we go. Uh, I'm going to leave that hanging there. No, if anything, I'd have to put something blue just to blend the sky in. We'll see how we go because that is the, the edge there. So I might bring something blue in there, I think. Yeah, I quite like how it looks. And then I've got a write in. Where's my pens? I decided that I was going to not cut up into this. See, there's my little houses that I got inspired by um, because, and you know, the bay windows. Um, yeah, it's just such a gorgeous thing and because I went there and you know I could probably I could probably use it as a tea towel and it'll remind me of my trip. So the only thing is is just there is where I'm not sure what's happening. But everything else oh I love that I love the gingham. I think that looks really good. Um it's pretty good I think. Happy with that. Now, just need to grab a pen. Wonder if this actually works. It's a friction. And write something in there. Because um, this would be really good because it's nice and fine. But I, I think it's I think it's seen better days. Here's my little plan of attack. See, I was going to do that little house in my design, but I thought I've went the opposite way. So I'm just going to do more my houses and um, other little bits and pieces. So now, no, I don't think oh, we've been so good. I need a finer, a finer pen. if this friction pen will work for me yes but it's pretty a bit thicker so what am I going to write in there um, tea and scones with Julie in Burford but I've got Burford there Goodness, you can. Um, <laughs> yeah, need the iron. Got the idea. Tea and scones with Julie in Burford. That's what I'm going to put. So that is definitely going to be ironed out. I'll just put one there. Um, with needs to be straightened, but this the end and scones will need to be fixed. Um, in 
perfect. That's going to be a um, interesting one to embroider. And I might make it a little smaller too. And the J a little lower. Okay, and then do, do, do. And then we've got, where's that embroidery? Here somewhere. Yes, yeah, so I'll definitely get the iron out on that one because it's a bit crooked. Here it is. <laughs> and I've pinned this down to that. There we go. Take that off. Um, got this too. Oh, now that. That may be nice. Just to cover some of this. Might be a little big, but I kind of like it. Wonder if I could have it going like that. Yep, it's going down. There you go. Just gorgeous. And the fact that it's cut like that there, and that's you know. So I'm going to take a photo and then I'll have to take some of these bits off um, and put them back down again because I need that's more of the and then that'll go here so that definitely the scones needs to be moved over because um, I think this needs to go more there. Maybe I do a smaller one. Didn't think that that would work. Or now I like that's bigger, and it brings out that white in here. So yeah, I think it does work. Do we straighten this up? Be a perfectionist. I might just straighten it up a little. Get rid of that part there. There we go. Yeah, I do kind of like that it goes over that. And then I'm going to have to get something a little smaller to go there, I think. Hmm. Which I got plenty of in my little, my little containers. Hang on, 10. Oh, 43 minutes. Good boy. Um, yeah, I've got, got some of them somewhere. Little bits and pieces because I'm just moved over. From um, I might put that there. From my uh, kitchen to the studio. Just wondering if that goes down a little. Just look, just a fraction. Oop. There we go. Okay, well, I better pause. Don't want to cover the doggy. He's rather cute. And um, find something a little smaller, unless I just cut that centerpiece out. But I do like this, so we'll just we'll just see. Nope, definitely needs to be lace. <laughs> Got these small little pieces. Um, 
Nej. Ja, god lord. Det hänger med lite. And these are the bits that I've put in my French pack. Okay, well, for now, stop dilly dallying around. And that's it. I quite like that. Um, you'll probably see, oh yeah, definitely have to iron that. Looks terrible. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, the bigger picture of everything in the thumbnail so um, that's how it's going to be and then I will proceed to stitch down anyway guys thanks for sitting and watching with me while well, I'm <laughs> figuring it out no stitching just yet did a lot of stitching there thank goodness I did this before my operation okay I'll catch you later thanks for watching bye